Hey guys, so um, in one of my previous videos, I was asked in some of the comments to write a program that doesn't just multiply positive integers recursively, but also negative integers um, recursively. So let's go ahead and do that. First, I'm going to write a description for our program. And let's see here. This is a, a C program that multiplies it looks like I have all my caps on this is a C program that multiplies two integers recursively alrighty so first I'm going to include my standard input output h header file then I'm going to create my main function. Then I'm going to return zero. All right, and now I want to create my recursive function. I'm going to call it moat. It's going to take in uh, integer a and integer b as parameters, and it's going to return an int, which is why it, it has this int here. And now let's actually create it. We just defined it up top. So there we go. So we need a few of the base cases. So one base case is if a is equal to zero or if um, b is equal to zero, then we're going to return the value zero because a, if a is zero and b is some value, then that's zero times whatever that value is, it's always, always gonna return zero. If b is zero and a is some value, then b times a would be zero times a, or zero times whatever that number a is, which will always equal zero. Okay. So next, if a is equal to one, then we're going to want to return b because b times whatever I'm sorry, a times whatever b is um, always will equal the value that b is, since a is equal to one, right? Something like one times five will always give us five. Okay, and similarly, if b is equal to 1, we want to return a. Okay, so that will handle our positive values. Okay, so now what if a is equal to negative 1, then we want to return the negative value of the number that is being multiplied by. So something like negative 1 times 5 would be negative 5, and something like negative 1 times negative 5 would equal 5. So we want to return the negative value of b. And then similarly, we want to do the same thing for b. So return negative a. And I didn't put, I didn't spell return right here properly. Okay. So this right here handles the negative values. Okay, now we need our recursive case. And let's see. So we need if if a is greater than zero and b is greater than zero. then we know that both a and b are positive. So we can just return mult times a, and we need to have a value to decrement so it can reach our base case. So I'm going to choose b. We could have chose a to decrement by 1 if we wanted to. But since our b is our decrementing value, we want to add a b times. So again, I'm going to put, or we could have wrote mult of a minus 1 b plus b all right and let's write an else if statement so now what if our a value is greater than 0 so our a is positive and our b value is less than 0 or is negative so right now our a value is positive and our b value is negative, then what we want to do is 
we want to return our mult value. And we want a to decrement this time by 1. And we want to add our v value a times. So we could get a negative value from b returned here. All right, so let's see another case. What if our a is negative and our p value is positive? Then we want to return mult of um, b, I'm sorry, of a, comma, b minus 1 plus a. So we want to add a b times. All right, and Let's see, else if um, a is negative and b is negative, then we want to return uh, mult of uh, negative a and negative b minus 1 plus negative a. And the reason for this is because we know that they're both negative. So we know a negative times a negative is equal to a positive. So I'm just making it a positive. And I'm going to put here, or we could have wrote mult of um, negative a minus uh, 1 and negative b and then we could have added our negative b here. And just to make sure that we don't have any problems, I'm going to put an else statement here, return 0. OK. So I can already see that we can kind of put some of this stuff together here. But for now, uh, uh, some of these if statements, at least uh, this if statement seems very similar to this, I'm sorry, this um, return value seems very similar to uh, this return value here so I could probably put them together but for now let's go ahead and run this I'm gonna save it as a dot C file I'm gonna call it multiplication integer recursion dot C okay so let's go ahead and run it look like it's compiling fine okay so perfect so it compiled fine so now what we need to do is we need to create our integer values a and b so I'm gonna say a is negative 3 I'm gonna say b is equal to negative uh, 5 and we're gonna have our answer and it's going to be equal to our multiplication function. And we're going to take an A and B. And then I'm going to do a print statement. I'm going to say percent D times, or negative 3 times uh, negative 5 is going to be equal to, it should be 15. And then create a new line. And let's see, A, B, and then answer. And let's see what we get this time. So negative 3 times negative 5 is 15 like we want it. Let's try B being a positive number. A is negative. So we get negative 3 times 5 is equal to negative 15, which is true. All right. Let's make A our positive and B our negative. And we get 3 times negative 5 is equal to negative 15. And then, of course, we have to try our two positives. And we get 3 times 5 is equal to 15. All right. Um, so uh, like I said, I noticed that we could probably change some of this here. And I'm actually going to do that. Um, I think what we could do instead of using that recursive case, it's going to save us a few lines of code. So I'll rewrite it, recursive case. We can put uh, this if statement with this if statement but we'll have to include some libraries here so we're going to include stdlib.h 
and this right here will give us the absolute value function that I will need to use. All right, so let's say if, and in here we're gonna say if uh, A and B are positive, or if A and B are negative, then we're going to return this, but I want the absolute value. there, make that A. So now, no matter what, it's going to always give me the positive values of A and B. All right. Let's see, else if, if A is negative and B is positive, then I would return so A is negative, B is positive. I'm going to just return this here. And else, the else statement is basically saying um, that B is a negative number and A is a positive number. So this right here. So we're going to just return this value. OK, and this should give us the same results. So let's give it a try. I'm going to comment out this other one here. OK, so 3 times 5 is 15. Actually, let's change up the values a little bit. Let's do 7 and 2. So 2 times 7 is 14 which is right, let's make a negative. Negative two times seven equals negative 14. Let's try negative seven and negative two. So negative two times uh, negative seven is equal to positive 14, which is true. And um, I'm not sure if I already tried this, negative two times seven, okay. And let's go back one more time. Uh, negative 7 times 2. Okay, perfect. So we get negative 14 as expected. So it looks like we can use either one of these two um, recursive cases here. So thank you guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. I'm going to have this code uh, on the link below in the description. Please leave likes, please leave comments and questions. And thank you guys for watching. And don't forget uh, to become a supporter on Patreon. I'll see you guys on the next video.